Good morning crafters, it's April. I wanted to share and do a little comparison of the Secura brand uh, jelly roll pen versus the glaze pen. So this one says a glossy 3D glaze in comparison to which most of us use is the jelly roll in black and white to add details to characters' eyes, cheeks, little dots on characters or animals. Um, so I just thought I'd see what the difference is because when I use the jelly roll on eyes, for example, I've already used it twice on this little character. And you can see that his eyes are not dimensional. So, but when you first lay down this jelly roll pen, you get a little bit of a, let me zoom in. So when you first lay this down, you do get a little bit of dimension, but it, it disappears. So I'm just barely pressing the roller on this tip down, and you can see that I'm getting a little bit of a dome. Give my camera a moment to focus, but so you see the difference there on the two eyes. So what I want to do is I'm going to set this one aside. Let's let it dry. And then we'll do the other little fox I have colored up. So there you can see we have a little bit of dimension now on his eyeballs. Give me just a moment. There we go. Okay, so we're going to let him dry. And then we're going to do this other little fox with the glaze pen. So that's the jelly roll. And then we'll do this little guy here with the one in this kit. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so that was quick. I just tested it over on the side. Can you see that? Okay. So it came out right away. Let's try this little guy here. All right. I'm going to just do the same thing. Oh, I didn't even have to press down. That just comes right out of the pen. Like I'm just touching the paper and it flows out. So let's see here. Alright, let's do a little comparison side by side. So this one is the glaze pen. And this one is the regular jelly roll. So they're both shiny right now. This one obviously put out a little bit more ink and makes it a little bit more domed and dimensional. But we're going to set those aside to dry. I want to show you something else real quick. Okay, so here's the purple and the white. You're probably not going to be able to see the white. Oh, here we go. So I did these little mice. This is from an MFT stamp set, by the way. These little mice and the foxes. This is called Fox and Friend by MFT. So you see here I did the little white dots on this mouse on his cheeks. This guy doesn't have anything. Oh, okay. That's super zoom. Okay. So let's try the white. Here's the jelly roll. And this is what I already have on this little guy. Just barely touching the paper. But it doesn't really give me any dimension. So let's try the uh, glaze pen. Let's see if I can do this at an angle. Oh, I got the cap on there. Okay. Well, it's not really white, it's just putting out a clear fluid. Hmm. Alright, I don't know if you can see that, but it's just wet. There's no white coming out. Hmm, what is this? Is this supposed to be clear? Yeah, that's definitely clear. So I guess that's more like a glossy accents. Did it have? 
Does it have a white white? No, it doesn't have a white. So, all right, moving on. So I guess there's no, we can't compare those because that's not a white on the glaze, but it is like a, I would say more of a glossy accents. Okay, sorry about that. I thought it was, uh, thought it was white, but okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell, but that's definitely two different colored caps. This one has like an iridescent sheen. All right, my bad. All right, let's try the purple. Yeah. This little guy's hat on one side with the purple. So this is Jelly Roll. Okay, that's the Jelly Roll. It's really a dark purple, but uh, there's no dimension at all on this one. Okay, so let's try the glaze pen in purple. My camera moment focus. All right, don't forget you have to remove the cap off of these. Okay. So I'm really not doing any scribbling. I'm just kind of using the tip of my pen to move it around. So I press down, the ink flows out. Just pressing down like in a dot right now. Letting the ink flow out. Let me pull it up so you can see. It's really hard to get this. There we go. So you can see it's kind of creating a little well in the middle here. So definitely dimensional, like a glossy accents with with color. So let's just fill it, fill the rest of it in. So you can see how easily that ink flows out. I'm just touching the tip of the pen. So that is. See what I mean in comparison to the little hat over here with the jelly roll. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the foxes and see if it's made any difference with the dry time. Okay. So we still have a little bit of a glare on this side is the jelly roll. And this side is the glaze. And do we have any dimension? There we go. So we still have a little bit on there. But just to remind you, this one had been done prior to filming. I had already put the jelly roll on this guy twice. And it just dries down flat. Okay, so I just wanted to show you the comparison as I'm trying to see the difference. I would definitely say, just looking at it straight on, that the glaze pen gives you more dimension and shine. Okay, so there's that. And I'm sorry the white didn't work out, so that was more of a, just a clear uh, on the white pens um, as far as comparing the two. Okay, so then one other thing I wanted to show you is when I was at the grocery store, I saw this little... A pack of makeup brushes. It was like four bucks, which is probably a ripoff. Um, but I just haven't had a chance to order these things on Amazon. So I just grabbed one. I can't really use this one, is really torn up. But I mean, it's super soft. But it's really soft. Okay, so let's just try it. For any of you who may or may not have tried these yet, I haven't. So thought I would give it a go. Alright, so let's get out regular Distress Ink. So I have worn lipstick and I just want to see the difference 
uh, blending with the makeup brushes versus a, sponge, a regular applicator. So I've got that there. Um, this must have an oxide on it. Yeah, see that? That's oxide. Darn it! All right, let's go back to the other one. So that is not going to be a fair comparison. So if you get oxide on your regular distress inks, you can just wipe it off because it is an oxide pigment. It should come straight off of your ink pad, so don't stress about that, okay? All right, so let's go back to trying. Hopefully this one doesn't have oxide on it. Well, it might, but I'll just go on the corner. Okay, so I think... I don't know what paper this is, but it's blending pretty nice. It might help that I'm blending on, you know, from the glass. I'm kind of pushing on the glass first and then bringing it onto the paper. But, okay, there's that. Let's try this one. It doesn't feel like there's anything on there. So sometimes with brushes, you have to rinse them first. I'm just going to give it a little fluff through. Okay, so let's just roll around in a circle. Well, that's kind of satisfying. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I have any ink on here yet, but... Definitely a lighter application. If you can tell, barely. My lights are pretty bright. Okay, try not to get my hands in that Jelly Roll glaze pen. Okay, so obviously we really need to get some ink on this thing too. Uh, depending on what the brushes are, I mean, these are probably real bristles. Okay, so can you see that ink soaking into the bristles there? Okay. So we should have something going on now. I'm still going to tap on the glass. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you just needed to kind of get your bristles saturated. Okay. I like that I can... Um, kind of get it, you know, dark and then bring it up a little bit lighter. But personally, just with these, I'm not seeing that it's too, too much more effective or not effective. I don't know if you can see that. So, um, to me, it seems like it's about the same. I think it would just depend on how what feels better in your hand as far as you know the comfort you know a lot of people with issues with their hands I heard I've heard that this is better for them also the amount of pressure you can put on these like pushing that down um, bringing it back up so but in my hmm I don't know, I feel like this to me is easier doing the, doing this. I, I mean, it doesn't hurt my hand, so I don't know what to say about that. But as far as the effects, I feel like it's similar. I'm not seeing a big, big difference. I guess maybe there aren't any harsh, round, like darker spots. Like there's a darker spot there, right there from the... Um, round circular tool whereas I don't have any shapes you know circular shapes here obviously but that's about the only thing I can tell that's different um, anyway let me know your thoughts if you guys have been getting these brushes if you've tried them out do you like them better than the Tim Holtz tool I I'm not going to invest and it's why I didn't invest even on the Amazon cheap ones because you know, I've spent a lot of money on my Tim Holtz products, and for me, I just don't see justifying going out and getting more brushes. So, yes, I paid $4 for these. Um, I'll make use of them, obviously, for stenciling, but for the most part, you know, again, I paid a lot of money for Tim Holtz stuff, so I'm going to use my stuff that I have and save uh, money to buy other things, right? <laughs> okay, so let's see if there's been any changes on the Fox... Um, just while we've been doing that and then that's it um, thanks for watching I appreciate your time 
and I just thought someone out there might be curious. I've been curious about those glaze pens for a long time. Okay, so here we are. I don't know how many minutes into the video, but you can see the glaze definitely um, is staying longer. See the shine is gone on his eyes on the right hand side. This little guy, the shine is gone. But this one still has the shine on the glaze pen to the left. All right, yeah, I just wanted to check if I tilt it, if it catches the light, but no. So the glaze uh, a Jelly Roll pen here is um, definitely dulled down. It's flattened down, uh, but the glaze pen is still uh, dimensional there and shiny. Okay, so um, I'll have a card video coming soon using these little guys if you want to stay tuned. Um, let me know your thoughts. I wanted to mention though that the glaze pen, and this is why I haven't purchased it before, but this is $24.99 at Joann's. So I used a 60% off coupon for it and then I also had, which I think it might still be good right now, is an additional 20% off, but you would probably have to buy something else. You can't, like they're not gonna stack 20 and 60 on this. So maybe like what I did was grab some, uh, just some uh, tape adhesive, one of the bigger rolls. So uh, I could get the 20% off my entire purchase. But okay, so there's some, you know, I wish they just sold the glaze pen in black and white, but they, it looks like they don't even have a white. But either way, it, you know, it's worth the purchase. I can give these to my granddaughter or something like that if I don't use the colored. But, um, yeah, so let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you have these glaze pens, if you've tried both, what your thoughts are. If you haven't tried these, maybe look into it. Use your 60% off coupon. Um, you can see the difference. I'm just looking at my desk right now, straight down at this guy. He definitely is um, dried at this point, and it's still dimensional and shiny. So the glaze pen definitely makes a difference, and I thought I would share that with you. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.